that a deal breaker, deal breaker, money I lie Is that a deal breaker, deal breaker, baby I lie Welcome to Deal Breakers, Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today we have our top badge edition. I am your host, Di Diamante, and today we have our special guest, Turk. We also have our other special guests, Namaste High, we have Nurse Joy, and Lola. Each one of them come with three deal breakers, which we will be revealing throughout the show. But also, Turk comes with his own deal breaker. Now, is it that he's a troublemaker? Or can it be that he only have female friends? Or does he have poor judgment when it comes to women? Stay tuned so we can find out later on. Now we will be introducing Top Batch Turk. Everybody welcome Turk. What's going on? How you doing today, Turk? You shouldn't be the only one sweating, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I thank you so but much. I'm gonna tell for you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now, like this about to come off. I'm only good at first impressions. Then it can come off. Then I don't care what y'all say. Uh, I mean, um, no, sometimes the ladies like when, when a little, you know, when the, the top of the clothing come off, you know, so they, sometimes well, they like things. Stay less. <laughs> All right. He started early. <laughs> you talking about? Definitely. All right, sir. So, Turk, tell me a little about yourself. Where are you from? I think the birds are saying it for me already. That, that they screaming for you already. Yeah. That's, so, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm from Philly. You're from Philly, nice. And how old are you? Uh, I'm 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 22. You're 22. Okay. I'm, I'm so kidding. You're, I'm you're kidding. Like 22. I'm, I'm 36. I'm 36. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. All right. What is the zodiac sign? Uh, I always fail when 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 people ask me about the, the zodiac signs. It's like an automatic. Like people push me away. I'm a Gemini. A Gemini. Why? Why do you think people push you away? Because they think that so, Gemini is a two phase or something. You know, because usually yeah, that's what but see, uh, so I'll break the Gemini down for you, right? People look at it as being two two faced, right? But really, mm -hmm. we're not two faced. It's just saying you get one of two sides of us. You can either be our best of friend or our worst of enemy. There's no in between. I like that. I I never heard that one before. That's a yeah, good explanation. Just, two sides. That's it. Okay. Okay. Got you. All right. Um, so what do you do for a living? What is your occupation? I'm a male stripper. You're a male stripper? No, I, you, I, no, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. That was back in my younger days. Uh, okay. You used to be a male stripper. So what do you do now? So I used to do bachelorette parties, but no, I work for the city. I've been working with, uh, for the city of Philadelphia going on 18 years. Okay. Working for the city. So also oh, you was like, you was like what? 18 when you joined the, the straight, night life? Straight out of high school. Straight out, of, no college, you, no. So no, I was actually gonna go to college, uh, but I blew my shoulder out. I was gonna go for a baseball scholarship, but I blew my shoulder out and kind of changed then, my uh, my life. But then you came up, um, you became friends with a stripper that introduced you to the stripper life, and that's what happened. No, I just I, I've always been like the dancer, you know what okay, I mean? So and then you know that you been one of those. All right, I got you. Yeah. Right. Like K Casey, Casey's been around long enough. She's seen, you know, that side of me. Yeah. That oh, side she's of me. The, she's seen the stripper side. It, yeah, oh. yeah, but that that side of me's gone now. You know, I'm 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 older now. <laughs> got you, got you, got you. All right, um, Turk, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, spend time with my kids. I okay. bury myself in work. I work like seventy five hours a week, so the time that I don't have at work, I spend it with my kids. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, definitely. Spending time with kids is everything. Means everything, right? All right. Um. Now, how would you describe your personality? Okay, you consider yourself a, a, a hole. Okay. Uh, um, I, I would, I would say, uh, I'm just real. Like, I'm not, I'm not going sugarcoat nothing. And sometimes that comes off as I'm a a hole or whatever the case may be that people call it, but I'm just, I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. Right. If that's a problem for you, keep it pushing, spin the block, do whatever you want to do. I don't care. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't have drama. People have personal issues. 
It's not drama because it ain't on my side. Right. So okay. Okay, got you. All right. Um. So how long you been single for, Turk? Uh. A while now. We'll okay. just go with that. We'll just go with that. A while, a while now. Yeah, a while now. I'm gonna take that as over five years. No, no, not that long. Not that long. Okay, so, so okay, not, so not, not that, that long. Not, not that, not not that long. Right. I went swimming. So, I went swimming at some point. <laughs> right. So I'm like, okay. So, um, one. All right. So the last relationship, what happened? So I'm not one to talk negatively on somebody. Okay. Uh, to the public eye. So I will just say that we grew in two different directions in life and we were better off just not together. Okay. And I'll leave it, and I'll leave it at that. That's it. All right. And how long did that relationship last? Uh, Kelly, how long did that last? Kelly, like, like a year and a half, two years, something like that, Kelly. <laughs> So, oh, wait, Callie, she's here. No, Callie girl is oh, oh she near and dear to my heart. She was there around for the relate. So, I was dating somebody on the app. Okay. And there was people on this app who were good friends with the person that I dated. Callie was one of them. Callie has, you know, came out. I've met Callie in person. Callie, it's actually Callie's fault on why I got in the relationship to begin with. Sonia! So we blaming Callie. Okay. So, okay. No, so Callie taught me something, right? And I don't know if she's still in here and she's listening, but this is something I want to say this for everybody, right? It was somebody I was getting to know and they were like a very good friend of my life. And it was a long distance thing. You know what I mean? There were okay. stakes between us. And in my mind, I wasn't going out there. To me, there's no point. Like I'm not trying to pursue nothing that stays away. And Callie had said something to me and she said, stop living like that. Take a chance. What's the worst that could happen? You fall? We got done that conversation and I booked the flight. I booked the Airbnb and me and Callie and another friend of ours drove 28 hours. To wow. There. Nice. Okay. Okay. Went all out. Definitely. All right. Got you. All right. Now, Turk. You say you have children. How, um, how many children do you have? I have two. Do you want more children in the future? I can't answer that question. It depends on who I end up with. You know what I mean? I would never deny a woman something that she wants. So if I end up with a woman that doesn't have kids, then of course I'm mm -hmm. going to want to give her a child. You know what I mean? But if I end up with a woman that has kids and she's okay with not having more, I'm okay with that too. Okay. Got you. All right. Um, What kind of women you are looking for in a relationship what do you look for in a relationship when it comes to a woman so you want my physical attractions or like i mean you could go like, with physical and then you could go with everything else what physically attracts me like what catches my eye to begin with because we all have physical attractions right okay everybody does everybody has something that they see and they like i am an eyes lips and ass guy that's the okay. three things that catch my eye you know what i mean but i say that attracts me your mind keeps me so, you know, your mind, your, your, your morals, your principles, yeah, along, gotcha. along the lines. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm looking for loyalty because I don't want nobody to be loyal to nobody but themselves. Don't be loyal to me. Be loyal okay. to yourself. That's how I trust you. Gotcha. Where do you see yourself in five years from now? Uh... That's a tough one. I don't know. Uh, yes. Five years from now, uh, probably going through life with the same mindset. Take everything day by day. You know, we keep pushing, regardless of the struggles we're putting in front of me. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm not going to sit there and put any expectations on what I want my life to be in five years because that's how you fail. I said, no, of course. So. But do you have any like any goal that you would like to complete? in less than five years is there any I don't, goals that you like to, no to i don't i don't like to use the word goals when it comes to my life because when you use a goal in your life that's an end i don't want it to end you're right but then that, that i don't want to have start another one but i don't want to have a finish line i want to keep okay. grinding until i can't grind no more the moment you put a, a goal on something that's like saying when i finish this 
then I'm going to try something different. Like, no, I'm just going to grind and grind and grind. And then, you know, when I'm no longer here, you know, I leave, you know, whatever I've accomplished to my kids. So you just use the type that you don't, there's no, there's no like limit. There's, you always got to keep yeah. going. You got to keep going. Facts. Okay. I don't like getting comfortable. I don't like getting comfortable. All right. No, definitely, definitely, definitely. All right. What is the talent that you have that that we don't know about that you usually don't sh express to people that show people? Is this stream PG thirteen right now? <sighs> yeah, a little bit. All right. Uh, so I'll tell you a different talent. Uh, I, I can I, I can dance. Uh, you can dance. Yeah, yeah, but we're you, not doing. You, you want to give us a little? Uh, yeah, no. no? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I tried. I, I tried. I'm just an all-around goofball, you know. I guess one of my talents is I have no problem captivating a crowd and taking control of it and entertaining a crowd. Right. So okay. I guess you could call it a talent. Gotcha. All right. Well, for those who just joined, this is Deal Breakers Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today is we have a, a top badge edition with top badge Turk. Top Badge Namaste High, Top Badge Nurse Joy, and Top Badge Lola. So as we know, deal breakers, that means that they come with some deal breakers. Each each lady will come with three deal breakers each that we will be about to be we're about to reveal, right? So now I would like to um introduce our other guests to the show. And we will be starting with Namaste High. I didn't totally run and grab this when I saw you in one of these, Turk. That looks uh, amazing on you. That color you really, brings out, the, it really brings out the complexion of your skin. I uh, I know. No, I totally didn't run and grab this from my closet. Look, y'all was twinning. That was, that's cute. Okay, okay. okay. Wow. Wow. All right. So namaste. Um, let's 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 know a little bit about yourself. Um, where are you from? I'm from Chicago. But I live in Colorado now. Okay. And how old are you? 33 years young. 33. Nice. Um, and what is your zodiac sign? My sign is the cross. Thank you. The cross? Baby Jesus. Okay. Gotcha. I like the baby version better. <laughs> okay. And uh, <laughs> so what do you do for a living? Oh, so I'm like, I'm a big deal. I'm like, I'm a streamer on Meet Me. I've got bouncers and everything. So like, don't get too cross. You, they get they get bounced <laughs> out? They get kicked or something? <laughs> oh, they get kicked out. Let me tell you about my snipers. My snipers are so good that if someone gets out of line, the very first snipe they take, kicked out of there. Gone. Really? Every single one. Never missed one. Ever. So, that, that scares me, though. Think the they, people what, are what if they snipe me? <laughs> Yeah, what if they snipe, what if they snipe me? I'm sorry, you're a bouncer. <laughs> He's like, you're one of the snipers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so um, is, is this what you like to do for fun? Is this something you like to also to do for fun? What else you'd like to do for fun? Um, I'm always um, out with my boys in the mountains. So like I just I live in Colorado and with three boys and being a single mom, you have to in order I have OCD. So in order to like keep my home clean and organized and there be a system, I take them out for the day and we just run and have fun. God, yeah. That's crazy. I have OCD as well. Oh, <laughs> look God. at us in our disorders. I, like, I have to I, my house has to be clean at all times. Yes. Well, put a, put a little, on, put a little you clean want a donut? on me. I got gotcha. you. Ah! You, I, hey. There you go, bud. <laughs> All right. Now th that was our top badge, and I'm gonna stay high. Now we will be bringing in Nurse Joy. Top badge, Nurse Joy. Everybody, welcome. Top badge, Nurse Joy. Hello. Oh, look at you, girlfriend. I see you. Okay, okay, I see you. How are you feeling today, nurse? I'm feeling good. You know, I had to make sure that I made my eyes pop because he likes the eyes. I had to make my lips look super juicy for him. So, yeah. Oh, Jesus. But it, because it's PG-30, I'm not going to show him the booty part, but, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. But it's there. Yeah, yeah. I do my squat. 
at the after party, you know. But for now, we definitely cannot. You know, we can't do it. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. So, Nurse Joy, let's let's find out a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Where are you located? Hmm. <coughs> Philadelphia. Okay. <laughs> girl. Nice. And how old are you? Forty-three years young. Forty-three. Nice. Experienced. Oh, experienced. Okay. Yeah. And so what is your zodiac sign? Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are those are little yeah. fights. I know I have a, my daughter's a Scorpio and she has oh. a little attitude. Do you have attitude? Do you come with attitude too? I'm sorry? Do you come with attitude? Because you know Scorpios is like, I come with and not I would say sass. You know sassy. you get mature, it's it's sass. Can we just can we just remove the S off the beginning? Uh, uh. Sassy red flag, I hear passive. Just remove the S off the beginning. Are we already starting with the shade? So, so nurse. I mean, you're not the only one with a boss jacket, but mine is from P O F. You know what I'm saying? You know, the piece. Anyways, this is my boss jacket. I only think mine says boss on it, so thank you. Oh well, so mm. mine's have my name on it, so it's it's you you, you know, because I'm really a nurse in real life, you know. Hello. Mine so. says OG. <laughs> Yours says OG. <laughs> All right, Nurse Joy. So Nurse Joy, uh, you say your solar sign is a Scorpio. So what do you do for a living? I'm a nurse. I'm a registered nurse. I have my bachelor's okay. and my master's degree. Okay, nice. And what do you like to do for fun? I like to um, crush watermelons in between my legs. Yeah, <clears throat> that's like a goal of mine. Yeah, to like crack it. So I've been working on crushing watermelons. One day I'm going to show it on screen on stream. But yeah, have, have you ever have you ever cracked an eggplant? I um <laughs> wow. <laughs> but no, for, for for real though, for real, I love um, I love gardening. I love gar so I love gardening. I love uh, sunflowers are my thing. So I I, I grow sunflowers. I grow lilies, I grow pepper, uh, basil. So I like gardens is my thing. Gotcha. All right, all right. Well, everyone, this is our top badge nurse, Joy. Everybody Hello. please hit it with that fave. Now we will be bringing our third top badge guest, which is top badge Lola. Everyone, welcome top badge Lola. Oops. Hi, Lola. You guys, how are you doing? Oh, hello, Lola. Hey, Perk and everyone. Um, so Lola, let's let's get to know you a little bit. Where are you from? Um, so I'm from South Africa, but I currently live in New York City. Sorry. <clears throat> was you born? Was you born in South Africa, or was you yes. born in New York? Born and raised in South Africa. Currently live in New York. Oh, nice. So, um. At what age do you came? You know, do you come to the USA? Good. Whoa. Um, school. So I came for fashion design and film production, um, and I'm in a totally different field now. I do nursing and um, <clears throat> aesthetics. Okay, so that's what you do for a living. You do nursing yes. and aesthetics. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what do you like to do for fun? Fun, adventurous outdoor activities. So I enjoy hiking, camping um bungee jumping and kayaking gotcha. okay nice nice all right well right now we are about to reveal our first deal breaker all right <gasps> sorry are you ready to reveal our first deal breaker lola's first deal breaker is she she bodied me for obsidian oh. <laughs> Ooh, she, it's it's the pettiness for me Keep that was by your, that was that was by a rose or something, Turk. I feel like we could all move forward. Wow, we can That's definitely move pain. forward from that. Like, you know, I, I only did it because Obsidian's in here, and it just you know it fit the move. Yes, yes. If if you choose me, I'll be your number one sniper. I will snipe for you forever. Oh wow! Forever. Wow! Whoa! Wow! Forever. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's go and reveal our first deal breakers. We're going to start with Namaste. Hi, Namaste. Please reveal your first deal breaker. <gasps> I forgot which one I was going to say first. Could it be anyone? <laughs> no, it cannot be anyone. <laughs> um, Don't worry. Hold on. I have a photographic memory. Um, you want me to tell you? 
Um, yes. Yes. So Turk, um, Namaste Hi doesn't like to eat meat. She's not no, repulsed by it. Right. Okay. So that is her deal breaker that she doesn't eat meat. She don't like eating meat. She's basically more vegetarian. Um, but we're gonna get to get, you know what, what is your opinion about that? That don't bother me. It don't bother you? Okay. All right. She may not now, hear me, but whatever. Oh. Oop. Sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse well, me. Well, 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 Nurse Joy. Oh. In comments to your statement, uh, I wouldn't want somebody to eat that. She said she didn't eat meat. She didn't say she didn't look it. Mm, okay. All right. Okay. I'll start. Did you did you want did you want me to specify D? Oh uh, no, it's all right. We will get to that um in a little bit. So, uh, Nurse Joy, can you please reveal your deal breaker? My deal breaker is that I work out all the time. All the time. Oh my god! Pause. Is this a? Sorry, I'm gonna. What? Is this an interview? You're like, oh my god! I'm just like super organized. Like you're really gonna <laughs> say you that, that, that you work out? That you work out? I'm going to the gym Excuse and keep my body in shape. You said your house is in order. And you got three kids and you just got an amazing mom. Hello. That's ridiculous. You just talked about how you're an amazing mom and you keep everything clean. I mean, hello. I mean, that's pretty terrific. Anyway, you're amazing. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> All uh, right, so your deal breaker is that you work out. All right, all right. So, what is your opinion on that, sir? There's nothing wrong with that. So, 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 what I take from the first two from Namaste's and from Nurse Joy is they're both they want to be healthy. Okay, sounds yeah. great. All right, now we're gonna reveal Lola's first deal breaker. Lola, yeah. can you please reveal your deal breaker? Um. <clears throat> Any of them or the first no, one? We have them in order. Oh shoot. Okay. <laughs> also, I'm a little healthy too, guys. Just you know, not all the time like Nurse Joy and, <laughs> and all that stuff. I mean, you know, I eat healthy stuff sometimes. That's okay. okay um, Listen, you're allowed to have a cheat day. Just don't cheat on me. Right, right. You know, I, yeah. <laughs> okay. So first one. Um. Um. I have nightmares every night, and I wake up, you know, making loud noises. Sometimes they're moans and sometimes they're because I'm scared of something that I felt somewhere. Okay. Me. Those are called demons. So they're not so first of all, first wow. of all, first of all first of, they are no demons over here on the outside. Okay. Shade for me. That no, a lot of shade. She just talking Yes, yes, but that's mm -hmm. Okay, so so Lola has nightmares and wakes up screaming at night. What do you what do you feel about that? Uh, so I had two thoughts immediately come to mind when I hear that. Uh, one is, you know, I have trouble sleeping as it is. So when I fall asleep, I want to stay asleep. And number two, if she wakes up moaning, who was she dreaming about? Ooh, ooh. That's a good question. That's a good question. Like, and, and I'm and I'm and I'm gonna tell you why because you don't gotta be asleep to dream about me. I'm laying next to you. So if you were sleeping, you moaning, that means you're thinking about somebody that wasn't there to begin with. But we go oh, move on. She said they are nightmares. That they is are nightmares, not though. It's not like she oh. enjoyed it. They, she said right. Listen, 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 listen. Time out, time out. If you moaning, you enjoyed it. <laughs> what? Okay. Not too uh, much, yeah. All right. Well, there you go. These are, that's our first deal breakers. Now, we will be moving on. To asking questions about these deal breakers. So for those who just joined, this is deal breakers every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today we have a, a top edge special edition, right? With Turk, Namaste High, Nurse Joy, and Lola. And today Turk will be choosing between one of these three beautiful ladies, but they all come with you know, some deal breakers that we are revealing per round. So now um we're gonna move on to the next round, which is the questions about our first deal breakers. All right. So now we're gonna go with Namaste. Namaste. Your the first question is, right? Have you ever eaten meat before? Because your your, your deal breaker is that you don't like eating meat. Have you ever eaten meat before? Yes. Okay. So um, at what age did you find out you didn't like meat? At what age did you cut it out of your diet? Cut it out this year. It, like it repulses me. I used to love it. It actually quite saddens me. It's kind of like traumatic, honestly. So, so what? What made you change? Um, the fact that you like me, and now all of a sudden you don't like what? What was you know? 
<laughs> cue sad music. It was like, I was on the internet one day and I just like strolled past and my little perfect eyes that were just looking at mindless little like memes came across the site of Arby's beef. And like ever since then, I just, I couldn't, I was like, so now anytime, like just any type of meat altogether, it reminds me of it and I can't do it. It was Arby's beef that did it for me. So you blame and it. Now Arby's. I feel mentally better. I feel physically better. And um, you know, period, mini period. <laughs> All right, I'm so glad you're here. So due to due to the fact that tomorrow is actually July fourth, you know everybody goes to barbecues and things like that. What what is it your man gonna eat? What what will you feed him at this barbecue? Because you know you're not into me, you know like you're gross by it. So what? I think what you is, mean my little men. I can answer oh, that. Yes. <laughs> what the hell do you, you think I'm trying to eat? It don't have to be the Fourth of July. That's every day of the year. <laughs> You're right though, every day. But I'm saying specifically tomorrow, you know, a barbecue, you know. Well, well, the, well, the deal breaker, breaker the, the deal breaker said pescatarian, so you could still eat fish. Right? You eat fish, right? Okay. There's a lot of good dishes where like turkey dogs taste just as good as hot dogs. So I'm Are good with like some. All right. like it's more of like a beef issue for me you feel me got you all right so will you so will you be comfortable with the fact of let's say turk wants to go to a brazilian steakhouse how will you feel about that i'll take my man to a brazilian steakhouse and order a salad with, with like shrimp or something in it you feel me i can sit i can wait Definitely. All right. Not bad. Not bad. He's got a whole other meal waiting at home. He ain't going to be hungry. You feel me, turkey? Gobble, gobble, <laughs> turkey. <laughs> oh, All right. Now we will be going with Nurse Joy's questions of her deal breaker. Now, Nurse Joy, your deal breaker was that you work out all the time, right? Now, um, do you enjoy being fit? Or is it that you use it to have an upper hand against the guys? I don't want to like tell you all my secrets, but I, I like lifting men up. I um, like to see if I can carry them. But anyway, but seriously though, um, I like working out because it's it's good. It's, it's a good uh, positive outlet that I do. Mm -hmm. um, so what <laughs> I found is sometimes it can be intimidating for some people. It's either that right. they will join me or they'll start working out. I'll either motivate you or intimidate you. So you know so that's a, that's a question i was going to ask you um so when you at the gym do, do the guys get intimidated by by the way you work out well not necessarily the gym because those are guys that already work out but maybe like someone that i meet or something like that at first they may okay. find that inspiring but at times it'd be like can we can i keep up with her okay do, do you think dating someone that doesn't like working out will like cause any problems of you actually getting to love the person or actually would it be uh, in, interfered in the fact that you like to work it out and they don't is there a problem between that no i think that um when i've worked out and the person doesn't work out they end up working out anyway it just becomes right it just becomes yeah. like they feel bad so they're like you know what she's out there waking up working out so i'm gonna work out what is a morning daily routine to be with you what is that what, what do you do in the morning what uh, so in the morning, um, typically, well, I have a, an eight-year-old, an eight-year-old genius. And so typically I get up before he does and I'll start, so I'll do workout streams. So I typically um, wash my face, brush my teeth, and I'll start working out. So if I'm not working out at the gym, I'll work out, you know, at home, like morning workouts with a kettlebell. And then I'll do the spin bike and then I'll do, make my smoothie for my breakfast. Uh, would a day at the gym be okay? A day at the gym. Mm -hmm. That's actually really interesting. Yeah, I would love to uh, work Turk out. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. Those are those are good <clears throat> answers for her first deal breaker. Now we will be asking Lola some questions about her first deal breaker. So Lola's first deal breaker was that she has nightmares at night and she wakes up screaming. You know, um, or, or moaning or whatever it is. But um, yeah. So now Lola, the first. The first question I want to ask you is like, what causes those nightmares? Is it like, because you watch a movie at night? Is it something that you're eating? You know, like, you know, what, what is right, it that, right. that causes that? 
you know? Right. So usually in a relationship, it's, you know, um, um, post, you know, after we have our fun and stuff. And then, you know, it just to just stay like sometimes like, you know, it's still happening, even though it's over. So while I'm sleeping, I'm thinking of it. And then that's that's the part of the moaning part. But then also um, the nightmares come where, you know, it's it's not my demons. It's yours. You you know, most of the time you you have the demons, not not me. So I, I have to deal with that. And that's why I'm like, you know, damn. So I start cursing them out for you while I'm sleeping. I'm <laughs> I'm fighting your demons for you. You know, so that's really what it is. Like, like, you know, I'm Zulu and stuff. You know? Okay, okay. So kind of, uh, yeah. Do you usually frighten your partner when you know when you wake up screaming? Do you do they get frightened? No, usually they, they feel protected, they feel safe. You know, really? they, 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 yeah. And some some of them, you know, it turns them on too, you know. Like damn, you know, it lasted that long for you. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still undergoing that that orgasmic um, experience that I that I had with you okay. two hours ago. Now, um, what has been the scariest nightmare you ever had? So, like I said, usually um, the, the demons don't belong to me. So I'm having your nightmares, but I'm just fighting with you know. I, I'm I, the scariest one was where my significant other at the time was being chased but i felt the i was sweating for him and i was yelling and and and, and, and you know the noises and stuff like that okay okay well that concludes uh, our our um questions for the first deal breakers for those who just joined this is deal breaker every monday at 8 p.m eastern standard time i am your host Didi diamante and today we have a top badge edition with top badge turk top badge namaste high Top batch Nurse Joy and Top batch Lola, All right? But he will be choosing between these three beautiful women, right? But they each come with three deal breakers. So Namaste's first deal breaker was that she doesn't like to eat meat. Nurse Joy's first deal breaker was that she works out all the time. And Lola's was that she has nightmares and wakes up screaming during the nighttime every night, right? But also Turk comes with his own deal breakers. So could it be that he is a troublemaker? Kind of look like it, right? Or is it that he only have female friends? Could be possible. Or does he have poor judgment when it comes to women? Mm. Stay tuned because we will find out at the end of the show. Now we will move be moving on to our second round, which is our elimination round. We will be revealing our second deal breaker. This deal breaker, I will be revealing it myself in a random order. So Turk, it doesn't, you don't know who that it belongs to. It's not in order. I'm just going to mix them up and you're going to pick out of those three, which one you cannot deal with. Again, you don't know who it belongs to. We're just going by the deal breaker. All right. Now, Turk, our, our first deal breaker is that they are very competitive against their partner. So whatever they do, they in a competition against you. All right. Now, our next one is they have mostly guy friends and they won't stop talking to them even though you feel a type of way. And our third one is that they fall continuously in their sleep. <laughs> <laughs> now, Turk, from those three, we have to choose one, and we have to. <laughs> so, so am I eliminating? Am I eliminating based off the second deal breaker or the first deal breaker? So we are eliminating based on our second deal breaker, one of the three that I just mentioned. So out of those three deal breakers, you have to pick one that the most that you will not be able All to right, deal so with. So listen, right? So listen, right? Uh, the first one was, uh, what was the first one again? They're very competitive with the um, they, The first one is that they're very competitive <laughs> against their partner. So whatever they That's do, not necessarily a bad. That's not necessarily a bad thing because you can be competitive with your partner and push each other to do better things. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's pushes you to be a better person right you're right it could be like that or it could also be that they just want to win at everything and you know they, and that's uh, okay i don't when it, when it comes to my woman i don't mind losing you don't mind either way i'm right. winning either way because i'm laying down with her at the end of the night right uh okay. the second one was uh 
They have, they have a lot of guy friends. They have a lot of guy friends. A lot of guy friends. They they're not gonna start talking. That's not I, that don't bother me either because I don't compete with nobody. So I mean, you, what if, you're what if you don't like the guy? What if what if you know he's not the, then, the guy that then you like to go being around? Then then that's a conversation that we'll have and we'll move based on the answers and what happens in that conversation. But I'm not somebody to tell somebody they can't be friends with somebody. Because now I'm dictating you as a person, and I don't want to do that. Because now I'm not falling in love with you. I'm falling in love with what I want you to be. Okay. So uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing either. Now the farting and the sleep. <laughs> I mean, you're sleeping. You're not going to smell it. You're not going to hear it. Listen, I don't know if you noticed, but I don't know if you see this nose on my face. I'm going to smell it. I'm, I'm not only that, if you it. sleep with your mouth open, you're going to taste it. Yeah, like, and listen, I wake up at five o'clock. I wake up between four thirty and five o'clock in the morning for work. I don't want to wake up to smell of ass. You know what I mean? Like, onions and ketchup. Yeah, no, the tuxedos are really that's, tough. Okay, that's that's so, that's a, that's a hard one. Like, listen, I know everybody does it, right? We all do it, and we don't know about it, right? Everybody farts in their sleep. The fact that they know they do it means one they be they've either woken themselves up or That's they've woken their point. partner up and they told them about it <laughs> all right sorry since we since we you know time is running fast and we yeah i gotta get rid of that one i gotta get rid of that one so we gotta be enough i have to all right the person that the falls water is fine right there. Right there. oh my god it's me <laughs> Nurse Joy, I love you. Nurse Joy. Nurse Joy. All right, Nurse I have two questions. I love, I love trolling. <laughs> all right, I got a quick question. So do you keep a spray by the bed at, at all times? No, actually, I, I mean, so so there's, there's a, there is a uh, story behind that. So when I used okay. to be married, um, me and my husband, when we were getting ready for shows, we ate a lot of eggs, right? So, you know, oh. eggs have a lot of sulfur in it. So when we ate eggs, me and him, both of us was, <laughs> was supposed to. So as long as I don't eat eggs, I'm good. You go. know what, you know what, Nurse Joy? The conviction in, in, in the story, it, it, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nurse, another question. Um, so is it that is it because it's like um the high fiber diet or is it, what is no, it? no 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 it's the no eggs eggs egg is like is so egg? like if you eat we used to eat like 10 it was like 10 to 12 eggs a day yeah but my question is this like you you work out all the time wouldn't you think you would let all the farts out while you're lifting weights no no yeah, no that's like, like, well, no, you well, saving them? I, why are you saving them for when you get home what are you like well, i wouldn't i would i wouldn't fart i wouldn't fart um, if I don't fuck fart in, in public. So you won't fart at the gym, but you'll fart next to me. Well, no, 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 but you don't know you're sleeping. How did you know you fart in your sleep? I, my husband, I was, I was married. I mean, not too long ago. So my it husband, woke him we up. Both were farting, but I think so we both were farting up. in bed. We were both farting. <laughs> that, was just, that was just an all around shitty situation. It was a bomb. It was a bomb. It was a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, literally can right you, no, Joy, can you please reveal your third deal breaker? Yes, my third deal breaker is no premarital sex. Oh yeah, you definitely were going. <laughs> you definitely were going. Listen, I don't even buy a car without test driving it. <laughs> you were gone. What you mean, KC? Listen, I'm gonna tell you why. Oh right? God, here we go. No, I'm gonna tell you why, and I mean this, and I want everybody to understand this, right? When you are looking for a partner, oh, see, you're bye, to, bye. listen, you're supposed to look for somebody who you connect with on, on three levels, emotionally, mentally, and sexually. And I don't care what nobody says. A sexual connection with your partner is very important. So if I can't have sex with you before marriage, I don't know if we have a sexual connection. You got to go. Right. All right. Well, Nerd Joy, I'm sorry you wasn't chosen today. So you do. I love you, though. Stars. Thank you so much. I know. Bye. Bye. See you and plus, and you. plus, listen, I'm an alpha. You ain't picking me up. I'm an alpha. Ain't nobody coming in my bedroom. What, 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 what do you mean you're not picking? Okay. Yeah. Listen. You live near me. I'm going to pick your ass up. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. Nice. For those who just joined, this is Deal Breakers. Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have a top batch edition today. And we have our top batch Turk choosing between well, one of them was just gone, as y'all seen. Top batch nurse Joy, she was not chosen today. She was eliminated. But now we have top batch Namaste High and top batch Lola. 
we still have two uh, we still have one more deal breaker to reveal right but now before we do that now mistake can you reveal your second deal breaker you third no the second one no which one was yours to you oh okay so mine was um yeah i have a lot of guy friends and i'm not going to give that up right so she has a lot of guy friends and even if you be like hey listen i don't like this guy she's like hey that's my friend Sorry. well see you know what I i'll say this right it's okay for your, your partner to have a lot of guy friends as long as they're open up front with you about it like don't have a guy friend that you're keeping secret from me. right yeah my thing is is you met me with my friends absolutely, I'm gonna keep absolutely. My friends. and not only that but like i don't fuck with gender i fuck with energy as a person mm -hmm. so somebody who wants to be with me knows that so that's same with my friends so you have to trust that if there was ever an uncomfortable situation and that that's what i was just getting ready to say would have your back behind your back that's you know what i was what just gonna say i feel like if there was ever a situation where the, the a person disrespected the relationship she would handle it mm -hmm. accordingly even if um, yeah it would cut them loose in a moment yeah a thousand percent okay all right all right so um lola your so yours is um that you're very competitive against your partner so now well, <laughs> sorry, how do you feel about that? Huh? How do you feel about that? The, I don't mind. I don't mind getting butt naked and putting some boxing gloves on. That's right. All right. Now, mistake. I have a question. So, do do your guys, do your guy friends ever try to hit on you? Who me? Yeah. No. 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 no that's an uncomfortable situation. So usually, what will happen is I could have someone who has hit on me, and I've swerved become like really be intelligent enough to understand that I swerved it. And then they respect my mental enough to just stay around and they've respected it. If somebody is pushy, I, I see that they don't understand, like they're not accepting my boundaries and I need to cut okay. that off. So no, I don't, I don't have friends like that. All right. Now, are you okay with your, but basically, yeah, you're okay with your men having only female friends, right? So that, is that okay? Is that not, not only okay? female friends from yeah. having us like a psych background? I would be like, well, what's going on with you not being able to connect with men? Mm. And I would probably direct them to like maybe like just because I love God, like I would want to connect him to maybe like a men's group or like a men's or just something where he could feel like somewhat connected or maybe like, hey, you should join like the rec centers basketball or like, hey, you said you let you play baseball. I know that there's like uh, people out here who get together. That's something that I would try and do. I wouldn't mind that he had friends that were girls. No, absolutely. Because if I was with a, a guy, a thousand percent, I, I don't care if he's out and has 30 women around him only. I'm at home sleeping knowing that, that he's good. If I have to question it or if I have to question where I stand, I'm gone. I'm not with that Sometimes person. you got to question where you stand, whether they got one girlfriend, one guy friend, you have to question it with one. So the, the amount doesn't matter. It has to do with the character of your partner. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, now Lola. Uh -huh. So, um, so your 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 what your second one was that you're usually um competitive against your partner. So right. when you say competitive, is it that you're always in a competition against them in a what kind of way? Are you always competitive? <clears throat> so I feel like um you know there's nothing. I personally feel like there's nothing wrong with some life competition and little things you know what i mean and it also helps um motivate each other you know what i mean like let's say i enjoy hiking who's going to get there first and whoever does doesn't have to take the five shots of tequila that i have in my backpack you get what i mean and it, it just it, it motivates you and and it makes it more fun you know what i mean um so like that um you know as well as like you know um watching the snipes and stuff you know all right all right nice all right well now we will be revealing our third deal breaker all right the third deal breaker is revealed by by the guests themselves so we will ask namaste hi to please reveal their third deal breaker okay i don't know why this happens but just like randomly it's like i'll just be talking to them and the more i think about it, it happens so i'll like be talking to you I'll be across the table and then like something will fly from out of my mouth fucking across the table. And I'll be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then I'll think about it again and it'll fucking happen again. Like it won't happen for like six fucking months. <laughs> but that fucking day, mm. it's gonna happen to the point where someone's like, so you, like, <laughs> and you talk, like, no, like, no, I promise. And the next time I'm with them, I start eating because you know me. 
you know, now I'm saying I am. So I start eating and then motherfucker like, oh, sorry. But you feel me? Like sometimes it just happens. You can't, oh, God. So, sorry. So, you, you, so you're a spinner. <laughs> so you're a spinner. That's what you're saying. Absolutely Ooh. not. Well, yes, I guess wow. in that sense, yes. <laughs> All right. Listen, I'm classy. Always swallow. Okay. I so intentionally spit when I talk sometimes. <clears throat> What what is your opinion about that? That you know she could be eating or talking. I can answer, I can answer that in one sentence. As long as she's committed to swallowing, a spit every now and again ain't gonna bother me. Lola. Yes. Lola, let's review. Let's review your third I'm so sexy. <laughs> oh goodness. This is a lot, you guys. Okay, um, so my last one is, you know, once every now and then and again, I, I meditate during sexual intercourse. <clears throat> so you meditate during sexual intercourse? Mm-hmm. I need like a moment, like, you know, like while we're in that act, just just everyone stay quiet, silence for, for five uh -huh. seconds. And then I, I, I we, we must meditate for those five seconds. And, just you know, yeah. Close your eyes and so, just. Uh, and then you be like, all right, let's go. Like, yes. Then we go back to the you know rough strangling, how, all that, whatever's going on. But we have to meditate for five seconds. How often do you meditate during during the intercourse? Uh, it depends how long, but usually like two to three times. But it's it's always five seconds. You so at least it has to be at least once during it while it's happening. Of course. For five seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 What is your opinion on that, sir? <clears throat> so that would be a problem and the reason with why that would be a problem is because she wouldn't be able to be quiet oh gosh <laughs> like if i so if i stop for five seconds her legs are still going to be shaking they're going to be half numb she's going to be trying to gather herself like she's not going to be able to sit there still and quiet like she's going to still be trying to gather herself together so like that don't make sense to me. I don't know the type of partner she's had in her past. You know, not that. too much, Turk. I'm, I'm, I got to ask the question. Can I answer the question? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just saying, like, you know, if they weren't, you know, doing the thing, then you know, then that works for them. But only meditating going on in my bedroom is afterwards. We go, we, we can meditate, but during, no, you're gonna be screaming out for it for the Lord. Oh, period. So there would be no time to be quiet. <laughs> okay. So no time. I hope you meditate. I'll bring you closer to the Lord and Savior. I hope you see the light. Oh, oh. okay, Turk. Okay. Turk. Okay. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> All right. Listen. Bruh. Bruh. All right. We're gonna we're gonna move on to the to the final round, which is the final round, we have we have revealed our third deal breaker. So Namaste High's third deal breaker is that she spits while she talks or eats. You know, it just comes out. You know, she's the female Daffy Duck, right? And then we have Lola, which uh, meditates while having sexual um, intercourse. Now Turk, not only that, remember Namaste doesn't like to eat meat, and she does. She has mostly guy friends that she doesn't. Um, She's not gonna stop talking no matter what the situation is. Um, now Lola also ha has nightmares <laughs> at nighttime that wakes up screaming, and she's very com um, competitive against her partner. So now we have to choose. But before you choose, um, now what do you think about Lola's um, deal breakers? Okay, to be quite honest, the competitive thing I like because I hate the girls that act like they can't do something. Like it's okay to beat the guy. Um, and I found that like the guys that I hang out with or I've gone on date with, they, they like that. They like that too. Right. Um, I mean, you don't want to show up, but if you realize like you're clearly better than him, let's play a different game. <laughs> you know, I like to right? That I like, I like competitive. You know, because I want him to feel good about himself, you know, you I'll, I'll be like, hey, let's like go play, you know, ski ball because I'm not the best at that. You feel me? Yeah, right, right. Um, right. And then I found out that it was bad at ski ball. <laughs> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> okay. So, so, All right. so no, and then the other one with like the meditation, I 
come from like a very spiritual background as well. So I get it. But like my thing is, um, so my thing is, is I would be very careful with whom I'm having sexual intercourse with when I meditate, because when you're doing that, I mean, even having sex to me, that's, that's, that's energy. Mm -hmm. So for me, meditation is so sacred to me that mm -hmm. I have not allowed myself to do it with somebody. And if he wasn't aware or, I mean, cause, cause you might've been with somebody who was just as woke as you are in that realm. So what you guys are probably doing is more of, um, could I put it to like, um, tantric? Tantric sex. I was going to say that. So, but some, you know, a lot of people don't really okay. know the, the, you know, the meaning. So, but it's basically like, um, along the lines in the same category as tantric sex. And I feel like if Turk looked into that or a woman showed him what that was, that he would, he would appreciate that. And I, I think, don't be so close minded. Uh, she's not talking about meditation solely. You're going no, I get to it. I, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I don't really, I think you have, I think you have good ones. I know I'm like, I want to roast you. I so have a bad. question though. I do have a question. Can I ask a question? <laughs> Go ahead, sir. So, so when you have these nightmares and you're moaning, do you stop for five seconds to meditate during that moaning? <laughs> no, 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 that's not planned. I'm not, I can't, I can't control those. I cannot, you know, they just, they happen. I just, I, just, I, just, I, just, I just want to, I just want to make sure if it was just with your partner or if it was, you know, you know, yeah, no, it's, 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 it happens even when I'm alone. Yeah. Yeah. For that one, I get pissed being woken up. Like, I don't even like to be cuddled during sleep. Right. It's like, yeah, just let me sleep. All right. Okay. All right. Now, Lola, what do you have to say again, uh, about <laughs> Namaste High's um, deal, um, deal breakers? Be you nice. Know, be <laughs> <laughs> don't make that girl TV. on reality TV. <laughs> you know, me. Okay, look. Um, I love, love, love um, her honesty with um, the, the the spitting thing. I don't think it's a big deal. You know what I mean? Like, we all have those little minor accidents if, you know, you, something is stuck in your teeth or whatever. And, you know, you're just like, oh, real quick, no one can see me. Let me just, you know, get rid of that. Um, I do also respect um, her being able to stand her ground and say, I came into something. I came into this relationship with these male friends or you never know business partners or um guys that she grew up with that groomed her to be who she is today you know the strong person she may be today so um i i think that's an important um um characteristic to have which is you know like this is who i am and you take what i come with or you just weren't meant to be with me so i i respect that mm -hmm. all right all right, so um, they actually had some good things to say about each other this time. Yeah. All right, nice. Well, the hard decision is on you, Turk. Now you have to make the decision between Namaste's deal breakers or Lola's deal breakers. Do I re when, when do I reveal? When do I reveal my second deal breaker? So your deal breakers are revealed once you choose one of the ladies, and then we will reveal your real deal breaker and see if they actually can deal with it. So yeah, so now you have to choose one of these beautiful ladies. All right, so so you my boy. So let me and you talk for a second. I need your advice. I need your opinions on some things. You know what I mean? My guy. My guy. <laughs> D, turn around. Look here. Yeah, really. so, <laughs> yeah, so, I'm here. I'm here, bro. So oh. how did you feel about Namaste's deal burgers? You know As what? my brother. You're not the host right now. You my brother. I'm not the host. <laughs> All right. I mean, one thing is I'm I'm a meat person. Um, pause. Um, I like eating um steak. I like chicken. I like pork. I don't eat veggies. The only veggie I eat is potatoes. So, um, or maybe like corn or something. But I'm I I love eating steak. You know, if I go eat something, it has it has to have meats. Um, so that's the very bad one for me. I mean, it doesn't matter. That's what she likes. So it's not like I'm the one eating. Now to it. bounce, now to bounce right. off what you said with that, right? The yeah, way I look at it is to not eat meat, to give it up after, you know, eating it for a big portion of her life. That takes discipline. Definitely. So I'm, I can be so disciplined. You know so, what takes like discipline too? The fact that everybody's like, you want to eat this veggie? And I'm like, no, no, no. That takes discipline but, too. Like you said earlier, like, uh, 
She, like, she doesn't eat meat. What, like, what are we going to do if we go out to the restaurant? At the end of the day, like, she can cook my dinner and I can cook hers. Right. You, know, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it, uh, just, we don't wait, have to eat the wait, same wait, thing every say, night. You say you're going to cook yours and she's going to cook hers? No, I'll cook I'm going to cook his. Cook cook oh, oh, okay. That, all right, I was about to say They that. cook what separate meat. Really would, would I stop eating Would I stop eating We meat? cook uh, separate dishes, but we cook them together for each other. I wouldn't necessarily say I'd be up to stop eating meat. It's never crossed my mind. Uh, wow. But to be honest with you, uh, you can never say never, right? Because when you, so when, the, you when you meet when you meet somebody, you it's it's a when you meet take, somebody who tells you to bend over, and you think no, and then you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold okay. on, wait a minute. So wait a minute. The second one. A second one like you know what? I'll try everything once. I don't I don't have a problem with my with my woman having male friends. But if this if there is a guy that I feel some type of way towards and I have a good instinct when it comes to judging people, you know, and if I feel like that person is actually wants more than your friendship, if I see it, I'm gonna bring it up to her attention and let her know, listen, this guy this and this and that. I don't I, I don't feel comfortable you being around him, you know, and it's something that I want would like my woman to respect. You know what I'm saying? So what's crazy um, about that is, in my experiences, right, the women in my partner's life were more sneaky with her than the men were in her life. Oh, that's another thing, too. Girlfriends are very sneaky. Like, when you have single girlfriends, yes, yes. they want yeah, they you like to come to shower out. Together. They, mm -hmm. they like to, they want you to come out. They want you to come <laughs> sit at the bar right here. There's a bunch of single men over here. Come sit over here with us. You're the pretty yeah. one. You know what I mean? You can help right. you. No, you're As right about that. Man, exactly once, the right. Men, once the men know you're in a relationship and you set that boundary, most men, most men, I'm not going to say all, most men learn to back. respect that. They learn to respect yeah, that. They yeah. fall back. You know what I mean? No, but that's what yeah. I'm saying. It will be that one individual that will be like, listen, I don't feel comfortable with this person. And, and I'll I smack him. have a respect for that. You know? No, and I'll smack him. And then we'll never deal with that problem again. He'll be in line. But that's, you know, we'll move on from that. Right. Uh, all right. So what do you think of Lola's? I like that. <laughs> All right, so um, Lola, um, the fact Thank that you. she's the nightmare thing, um, I, I don't, I, I do, it doesn't bother me waking up throughout the middle of the night, especially to to see my woman if she's scared or anything to actually make her feel better, you know. And what about moaning? Down. You know, that's something I wouldn't mind. What if she's know? waking up from a dream and she's moaning? <clears throat> that wouldn't it raise questions in your mind. mind? No, no, no. no. I'm but, help would, that raise, would that raise <laughs> questions in your mind? <laughs> Yeah, that, that she wants some. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Listen, at the end of the day, you're right, though, Turk. You know, because sometimes our our nightmares, our dreams is something that you probably was thinking of, you know, or, or situations that you're going through. So you're right. Maybe it could be that she's thinking about someone else, right? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you, right? So out of all the deal breakers, out of all of them, that's the one that stands out in my mind that I can't deal with. Okay. I, I, on both sides, like all of Namaste's were fine, like things you can you can work through, right? All of Lola's were, were fine, things you can work through. I just, I don't know, man. I, I can't wait. My woman wake up moaning. She's dreaming and she's moaning. She don't have no reason to be dreaming about me if I'm laying next to her. So she's got to be dreaming about something else. I don't feel feel like you like that your woman goes to bed feeling like she still not met her. But that's what I'm saying. Like before she goes to sleep, before thought. she goes to sleep, if I'm what she's craving, that craving will be fulfilled. So the fact that she's what? still moaning in her sleep, that means she didn't get her fulfilling of whatever it was that she's craving. Maybe she, she wants some more. What if I what if I what if I'm replaying the whole thing over? You know, and, listen, and, listen, and we ain't living it. We ain't living in Disney World. We we being realistic right now. I mean, we being we being, we being realistic. <laughs> my woman is not going to sleep unsatisfied. So if my woman is waking up moaning, there is a problem. <laughs> You're right. Uh, but what if she just loves 
filling you. And, and what the is other, but see, this is the other part of that. What, what is that, like, what is his moaning that, because of of how she still fills you from that night? While cuddling with you, this is, holding, this is the holding, other, holding. but this is the other part of that, right? So one thing I will never do in my life, right? I will never go get a reading. The other portion of her sleeping said she's fighting my demons in her sleep. That creeps me the fuck out. I had to say something about that too, because in my faith, said, when I have God inside of me, I can sleep next to the devil and that shit can't enter me. Because that's that what I'm saying. That so if so she's fighting my demons. Say that I'm having a nightmare based on somebody else's demons. No, my God's stronger than that. My God is inside of me. He works with me and he protects me. When I meditate, I know who goes before me so that when I'm there, evil or darkness, I want to say darkness, that can't hurt me. So there's no okay. way that I, by that's me the part that's hard. Like, it's like, but that, now, was, that but was my like, ooh, now like, here's, here's the, here's the, the backing behind that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be with a man that's spiritually strong. Yeah. That does if the ha. Huh? So when I say that, I want you to be spiritually strong and not spiritually weak. Where a person could tell you, oh, this is gonna happen to you. No, my God is powerful. I want you to be able to be that man for me. That's so that's that's another sure. reason. And, that, and, that, and that's real, I feel that. But it's 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 the fighting my demons. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like that that <laughs> all right. So now, Turk, it's, it's time Lola, for this. Lola, thing. Lola, I, I, I love you to death. And I'm sitting at verse Turk right now. I'm joking. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I love you to death. Uh, Likewise. But I feel like Obsidian came between us. I feel like he's the demon that you're fighting in the sleep <laughs> while you're next to me. So I, I just feel can't, like he I can't, kind of wants Lola's number. I can't live with that. I can't live with that. If you're thinking about Obsidian when you're sleeping next to me, we got a problem. Obsidian. Obsidian. Wait, what? All right. Well, so 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 today's deal breakers. Um, the deal breaker of today is Lola's deal breaker, right? You were not chosen, Lola. All right. Well, Lola, you was not chosen today. I'm so sorry. Um, you did amazing. Don't leave. I will bring you back in the box. But right now, for the moment, you do have to go. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. It's been fun. Yeah. <clears throat> Turk, it's on your top if, you, if you're streaming tonight. You heard? That's all right. You'll be on somebody's top of your sleep. Yeah, whatever. Ooh. Okay, guys. <laughs> all right. Well, namaste. Guess what? You're tonight's winner. But guess what? It's not over yet. What? It's not over yet. Oh, say what? Come again? Um, it's not over yet. All right. Well, Turk, <laughs> Turk has his own deal breakers, right? Which we don't know which ones, which one it is, but out of these three is one of them. One of them is true. And is it that he's a troublemaker? Um, could it be that he only have female friends or could it be that he has poor judgment when it comes to women? Poor out of those three, out women. of those three, which that one do you think? Probably his deal breaker. Which one do you think is the true one? Because I don't feel like he's a troublemaker because, oh, wait, I'm going in the game of bullshit. Like, I don't mean to play this game. I'm Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> <laughs> well, we are, we're going to be choosing which I wanted to of teach you is the, the, worst, the most that you cannot deal with out of those three, which is the Maybe most. Maybe she should deal. wait to hear my explanation on the deal breakers and then she'll be able to tell which one's mine. Ooh. Okay, what were they again? Okay, only female friends. Troublemaker, mm -hmm. only female friends, and have poor judgment when it comes troublemaker, to Troublemaker, that would be my deal breaker. Okay, so a troublemaker. You don't like a troublemaker guy. You don't like- no, I'm over that. I'm over that. love her. I have three boys. I don't need four. I need a, I need, if I'm with, I don't need a man, but if I choose to be with a man, he needs to be a man. Not a little boy getting into trouble. All right. No more. So, so the deal breaker you will not be able to deal with is the fact of him being a troublemaker. Well, guess what? That is not his deal breaker. Sir, would you like to reveal your real deal breaker? My real deal breaker? My real deal breaker is I have poor judgment when it comes to women because I tend to overlook a lot of things that I shouldn't. Mm. So like the I, fact that it felt like a third leg was there. 
that entire night. Yeah, no, not that never happened. But she spoke like she was Minnie Mouse. Well, well Minnie Mouse. no. So, so the best way to explain it, and this is the way I've always explained it when people ask me, right? <laughs> so when you meet somebody, right? And this is me being real. This isn't joking right now. But when you meet somebody, you 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 get to know them, and then you put them on this pedestal, right? And you hold them there because you want to see only good because you're attracted to them. You want to pursue them. You want to go after this person, right? So what happens is at, as you get so far into getting to know them, no matter what they do, I tend to overlook it because I don't want to take them off of that pedestal. I want to be able to continue holding them there. So I overlook things that will bring them down. I overlook things that will make me look at them differently. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I just, I push it all onto myself and make myself feel like I was the wrong one or it's because of something I did. I'd rather beat myself down than bring them down from that purpose. Okay. Okay. Well, so now the question is, Namaste, will you be able to deal with Turk's deal breaker? Well, I have a question. Do you have friends that are girls? Yes, but I can answer that as well. Well, this is my point because I really listened to what you said. Now, what you said is, I mean, you're looking at something as huge as a relationship, so you should take that way more serious than mm -hmm. knowing someone at a friendship level, right? Because a relationship is to be with somebody for the long run, partner for life, like your life partner. So you should take you should take that dinner a little bit more serious than this one with your so, friend who has their own life partner. But if you don't have a good judge of character and can fully admit that when it comes to something you should be so serious about, how do I know? But this little fucking thought that you're out with is somebody that you can judge as a pure friend who no they really don't want to suck my dick they just like rub up on me when they're drunk all the time so, like, i'm gonna have to lay out like a lot of people so i'll break it down for you like a lot of work so i'll break it down for you right and there's somebody in here that can vouch for me on this uh the reason why i have female friends is because a lot of females look at me as a man an image of what a man should be, right? A lot of them look at me as a father figure because they come to me for advice. They Turk, come to just me. because they call you daddy doesn't no, mean- No, 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 no. I don't mean in that sense. I mean, in generally a father figure. So, like, so, so, Sonia knows me, KC in here knows me. I have been that man in a lot of women's life that I have met on this app to guide them through some bullshit that they've been going through or some troubled times that they have been going through as to where a man won't necessarily open up about their troubles and stuff like that because of a pride thing. Mm -hmm. So yes, a lot of women come to me with their troubles, but they know it's not on that type of situation. Cali girl can vouch for me on that. I was also just telling, telling you about Cali. Cali girl was once a friend and became a sister. So yes, I have a lot. I do have female friends, but it's in I am better at giving advice than I am at taking my own. So as I'm guiding them, I'm also learning from them as well. I love that. Yeah, again, it's the energy that you surround yourself with. That's why like being friends with girls isn't an issue with me. It's just if you can't, if you have a poor judge of character on the people you invite as a relationship, because my rule is be friends with somebody before you even sit down at dinner with them and date them. So like if I find out that I'm, if anybody finds out, oh, Namaste is dating somebody, it's gonna be somebody that everyone knows because I've gotten to know this person for a long time as a friend, because I don't wanna like just date you because they think you're attractive. Like I don't fucking know you. And then we're gonna sit down for 45 minutes at a dinner to find out that I don't vibe with you. We, we just aren't aligned. No, I've gotta so, know you on a friend. I've gotta like you. I don't really, like I love people. Like I love to love, love is great, but I've gotta like you. I've never dated anybody I wasn't friends with first. That's a foundation for me. Yeah. The reason yeah, why agree. things went wrong. No deal breakers. The reason why things went wrong is because people portray a different image in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So I was never friends with the actual person. I was friends with the image they were showing me. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we still don't know if um, Namaste will actually accept your deal breaker she's already <laughs> waiting for the uber like it's about to go pick her up like what are you talking about uber <laughs> you're not going to get me like a horse and carriage 
I don't think they have horses and carriages in Philly. Horses and carriage is crazy. All right, watch man. another one, bud. I love you. <laughs> All right. Well, for those who are here, this was Deal Breakers. Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And today's winner has been Namaste High. Um, she actually chosen um, Turk's Deal to handle you know, Turk's Deal Breaker also. I don't know if she did, but we're just going to say she has. Um, so, yeah, she does. <laughs> you know, she accepted to, to deal with his Deal Breakers. Um, so I want to thank everybody for being part of the show tonight. Thank you so much. I know we should have been cut it a long time ago, but you know, it was interesting. It was very interesting you know what we were talking about. Um, again, for those who don't have Turk um, Fave, those who don't have Namaste or High Fave, make sure you hit them with the Fave. Lola, if you would like to come back in the box so they could, you know, you could get the Fave and you could speak about any events y'all have. So um, let's start with you, Turk. Do you have any events coming up? Anything, where can we find you on social media? Nurse Joy, uh, are you still here? I don't to think be a hundred percent short, like a hundred percent honest with y'all like i don't stream nowhere near as much as i used to uh i've had a, i've had a career the entire time i've done this at like i told you i've been working at my job for 18 years uh i used to be able to stream at work uh i got a promotion recently so now i'm in the office and i'm running things so i can't really be on the phone so i stream when i can so no events coming up for me okay okay no events on all right well for those who do want to he does streams here and there i want to catch him you know hit him with the fave go check him out um now namaste high top badge namaste high where can we what social medias can we find you in any so basically where can you find her at my house oh. we'll be having dinner we'll be, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be having dinner mm-hmm. she'll be eating fish and i'll be eating steak we'll be good okay right. so so where, where, what events you have coming up um namaste july 8th i am in t it up auction i never do auctions but it's teed up and that's like my sister i adore her i always tell people to go to her that's like my favorite queen on the entire app she's australian so if you want a cute girl with a beautiful heart which makes her absolutely gorgeous um go check out tea it up too <laughs> got her in this this show <laughs> um no but i'm gonna be in her auction i couldn't say no to her i never do auctions it's july 8th i forgot what time it is but it's the last slot of the night y'all so just go check it out some pretty good people are in there i know vinny's in there and um i think aladdin's in there as well so maybe even dj bossy we'll see okay. come check us out there's lots of good people there. check it out go check it out july 8th um up, um Regan, up and- not everything's about you <laughs> oh i do have a show coming up i do have a show coming up it's right. tomorrow at nine o'clock Tomorrow nine. Yeah, it's oh, called no. the search for fucks to give. Oh, nine, <laughs> nine, yeah. nine o'clock on your stream. Yeah, we, we we've been looking a long time. I haven't been able to find him, so I need some help. Everybody, go help help him find the fucks he needs to give at nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah. So tee it up's auction July eighth. I was asked to be part of it, but I actually it's uh, July eighth is my birthday. And I'm actually on a fives battle that day also. So I was like, I told her no, I couldn't make it, you know, to her auction. But um Well happy happy yeah. early birthday, bud. So definitely, you know, go go check out Namaste on her auction, July 8th, and go show <clears throat> support and love. Um Lola, where are um, your social medias? Any events coming up? Where can we find you? Where can you where can we in her dreams, moaning? That's where you oh can my find goodness, her. you know what, Turk? You are probably the demon I was fighting. Yeah, which was her actual what was her actual deal breaker though there was all three of them them. all three i'm i'm gonna come off but yeah um my instagram's in my bio it's lola underscore pof no upcoming events i mean it's been a very hectic couple of weeks for me so i just want to get into my verses and have fun um and yeah i stream in the evenings eastern time 9 p.m to 12 midnight so if ever you guys are on, come, you know, push some buttons or whatever. There you go. Make sure you're hanging <laughs> on with the buttons. Oh, um, there's Joy. I see you're still here. Would you like to join the box and um, come promote your show? Um, I know Nurse Joy has a feature show too. Yeah, um, it's a Nurse Joy, what she was talking about earlier, how she wants to pick a man up. Like, Nurse Joy, I'm an alpha. My woman ain't picking me up in the bedroom. They call me a drywall brother because I put oh, you are, we still, are we still talking about that? Be, be Straight like that. First of all, Straight first like of that. all, wait a second, wait a second. Can I ask you a question? Do you think Dell is an alpha? Yes or no? 
I don't know Dell on a personal level like that. What do you? I, I thought, okay, happened? so I picked him up. I picked him up. I did a piggyback ride, like you know, you go on my back. You're like, doo, 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 doo. Yeah, no, all right, but it's all, you already eliminated me. What you kind of do a triple elimination? It's over now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, Nurse Joy, Nurse Joy, no, Nurse Joy, I, lo I love you to death. You know that. Like, I met Nurse Joy. So uh, let me let me give you a just a quick rundown of Nurse Joy, real quick. Um, right. So I met Nurse Joy. She's oh, from no. she's she's from where I'm from, right? And I had just came back to the app, and I was a little discouraged because the error on the app has changed, right? The error on the app now circles around drama. It's, it circles around toxicness, right? And and the real genuine people kind of get forgot about now. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm on stream one day and I think it was like a freaking Saturday and I was like 10K for the week. Like I wasn't, I didn't even hit my 80K yet. And she came in and she spun the wheel, diamond dragon wheel, and she hit it on the oh. second one and literally saved my badge for the week. Literally like turned the whole week around for me. Like, and I don't even think we knew each other well at that point. Like, but to know like that people came in and, you know, Recognize that I'm just genuine. It, it meant a lot. That's what's up. That's wow. what's up. Okay. So, nurse, would you like to tell us about your show? That was March the second. Not that I know the, the date or anything. Anyway, um, my show is called Food for Thought. I mean, and then and then and then seven days later, I hit it on country. Okay, so, um, I was lucky that week. Uh, my my show is called Food for Thought. You see, this the banner here, Food for Thought. It's a trivia show about fruits, vegetables, grains. It tests your knowledge about fruits, vegetables, um, the history, if you know what minerals are in it, do you know the, the, the correct uh, subject portions that we're supposed to eat every day. Yeah. It's really, it's super, super fun. What's the, I want to go the to server, that one. What's the it's server tomorrow, portion? What time? At, uh, tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's featured. What's the serving cool. portion of a woman that a man's supposed to eat on a daily basis? Oh, wow. Here we go. Me and D want to know. He's listening. It depends Since what you, you can know. handle, because you can't handle all this ads. That's why, you know, we had the biggest ass, me and Lola, on the, you know, and no offense, not that we love your ass. Yeah, so you just can't really hang, handle all that we got, for real, for real. But now I'm going to say your ass is really beautiful, too. But I'm just saying. So let me just say, let me just say this, right? <laughs> let me just say this. Let me clarify something real quick for everybody in the back, because I know I know my <laughs> men down in the comments going to appreciate this, right? A big ass don't mean a nice ass. Nice ass has to do with the curvature. No, my shit's nice. I I'll let you touch it. I ain't, got, I ain't got nothing to do with that. You could bounce a freaking quarter on that mom. Okay. A what? You could bounce a what? Talk about it, Nurse Joy. Quarter. A quarter. Hey, quarter. And I can't talk to Lola like that because I don't want to upset you and get mad at me. Oh! Hey, look. Hey, hey, hey. Turn, 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 listen now. Turn. Like, I'm competitive. And if I'm shooting against you, I'm going to try and win. Not too As you much. should. As you should. Mm -hmm. As I always do. Can you and let me know the next time you go? Nasty you want to battle against, against each other, Turk? Bola, come to our battle. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going to say I you twice. Like, you fake me twice? Girl, twice. you're already fake. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. You know what I love about the fact that we're just not top badges? We're all parents. Yes. And uh, I thought that was absolutely. like amazing. We're single, all, yeah. Single, single parents, yeah. Well, yeah. My yeah. most, my most, that is my greatest accomplishment in life. Yeah. yeah, forget my job, it's, forget everything that I've achieved and still strive to achieve. There will be never be a greater accomplishment than me than my children. I, I always say that yeah. too, that, you know, being a single parent is already hard enough, but even making time to stream, you know, and come and uh, um, share energy after we're doing all that work and, um, you know, doing, you know, being parents, it's, 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 it's um, admirable. I've seen some people with eight children, six kids. I'm like, how are you doing this? So shout out to you guys and um, yeah, that's. And I've that's done something life. that not a lot of men do. Both my kids are by the same mom. Oh, <laughs> that's just crazy. I mean, I know I know something a lot of men can do. Have a good pullout game. It's been thirteen years. Well, twelve. All years, right, all right. Years. I can I can I can, I can do you one better. I have two kids. My daughter will be thirteen this year. My son just turned eleven. Beautiful. I've been I've been doing the damn thing since I was fourteen, so my pull out game must be nice because the what? ratio is, is good. The we ratio out is out of the house good. And then we have parts for some uh, chickies and peat fries. I got you on that. I got you. Okay. 
<laughs> the ratio uh, is good. That's all that matters is the ratio is good. No, all jokes aside, the I appreciate you. I know you've been trying to get me on here for a while. You know what I mean? It's always fun. I'm thankful that you surrounded me with three great women. You know what I mean? Like, thank you so you much. Know, great show, Jim. Yeah, there's Monte. joy I've known. Yeah, her. I love that I was here with you guys. And there's joy. Lola, Lola, thank it you was so personal. Now, Lola, Lola, I need to come and check out. I know it's personal, but don't worry about it. Turn. You want to no, see? No, no, I'm gonna be honest comments. with you, Lola. I'll be honest with you. I was actually glad he put you on here, and I'll tell you why. I only know you from shooting against me. So mm -hmm. to sit here and have a conversation with you, it, it brings a different aspect. Now, when you shoot against me, now I don't have a problem talking shit to you. I better get a, I better get a speech. I swear My to God. And, 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 and what's crazy is, this is what's crazy, right? Me and Namaste literally just sat in her live, literally the other day for like an hour, and literally just had a genuine conversation with me, her, and I think it was like two other people in the box. Literally for like an hour. Substance. It was, yes. Yeah. It, it's hard to find. So, on this yeah. I want I want to thank all of you for real. Um, especially you know you, all four of you, Nurse Joyce. She just left. I don't know if it was a call or something, but um, I want to really appreciate y'all for being part of my show. You know, um, it's not it's not easy to <laughs> get four top badges in a show. It's not easy. Um, especially a, a show that's not featured. You know. Like, <laughs> um, so I want to thank my admins. I want to thank my admins, Nini the recruiter, um, typical KC, Lucky. I want to appreciate y'all for helping me, you know, um, get getting the amazing um, streamers to my show. I want to thank y'all for actually accepting to be part of my show. For real, um, I was hoping today it would have been featured, but you know, there, there's been some delays that I'm not, you know, I can, I can keep pushing, brother. But keep pushing. it is definitely getting featured, and I want to appreciate y'all for being here. For those again that want to be part of my show, make sure y'all hit Nini the recruiter with a. Uh, with a fave, typical KC or Lucky, and you can message them. Um, also, follow my um, follow me on Instagram. You can message me, you can DM me, or you could uh, have uh, my YouTube where you could go watch the shows. I, I used to have a, a different show before, but um, now you could you know subscribe and come watch my show on YouTube. And and also, I, I started a new TikTok. You know, I started TikTok, so go follow me on TikTok if you have TikTok. You know what I'm saying? I'll follow back. And if any of y'all want to slide in my DMs, head first. And for whoever want to slide, you know, in Turks, head first, sideways, you know, whatever y'all want to do.